content, and thank you for tuning in to another week with Fathers of Care. As always, it's a pleasure to come to you each week with some interesting information, interesting people, and hot topics of the day. And tonight I'll be talking to you specifically about what's going on in the neighborhood, uh, what's new and what's uh, uh, happening, and why is it happening, what can we do to bring about change in our community, and what's happening on the west side of Chicago with the Light in the Night events, what's going on with the youth, uh, with the West Garfield Park Youth Council, what's going on in your neck of the woods. And as always, we want you to know that we at Fathers Who Care really believe that anyone, anyone capable can be a father. But it takes a real man real man to be a father, to be a dad. I mean, to step up in the gap, to be that responsible individual for their children. I mean, we really believe that anybody can hang out and call themselves this or call themselves that. But when the chips get, when the when you're back up against the wall, they really don't know which way to go. You got to step it up, and you got to do the right thing for your children. You got to do the right things to make sure that they have the best quality of life, and that they're around here, not involved in some of this senseless violence and some of these other issues that are running our children to the to the left. But anyway, as I said to you before, you're watching uh, Fathers Who Care. Of course, this is our weekly television show dedicated to reducing underage drinking, substance abuse, and senseless violence on the, uh, on the west side of Chicago. And so just kind of give you an overview, we have been collaborating with other folks, uh, particularly on the west side of Chicago. We've been collaborating with the West Garfield Park Community Stateholders, United for Better Living, uh, Garfield Park Community Council, and the West Garfield Park Youth Council, of course. So what we're doing this month is we're taking this month to talk specifically about community empowerment and what can we do as a community to empower each other. So what I really want you to know that it's real, real important that you know that we at, uh, the, uh, at Fathers Who Care and along with our uh, West Garfield Park Community Stateholders Initiative, our goals are rather simple as three. We want to reduce the sale of alcohol and other substances to our children. That means show the tap and investigation and all that other good stuff. We want to reduce violence and the, assistance, the senseless killing of community residents for no reason. And build and strengthen a community support system that works together for the betterment of all sector partners. That means parents, children, businesses, uh, churches, uh, Pastors, we're talking about healthcare facilities, uh, support uh, uh, youth serving organizations. So it's all kind of sectors that we're talking about. But everybody in the community is part of a sector. And as I tried to allude, I'll try to read them all off, or not read them off, think them all off, but it was kind of hard on my brain to try to remember all of them. But you get my point. You are part of a sector, be it your business, be it you in the business, or you be in the youth, or being a parent, or being in the school, or being in the church. That's my point. So with that being said, let's get into the show tonight, and hopefully we can get some information covered tonight, and uh, hopefully something that could be said, and, and you'll learn something, and you'll call in. But anyway, what we're talking about, uh, what we're talking about again tonight, is people united to promote a safe and drug-free community while engaging others in community organizing and civic engagement. You know, so much is going on now. And I think I would be remiss if I didn't talk about some of the ills that are going on in our community. Particularly, you heard just recently about these two young people, not two young people, but two men getting shot over here on, uh, in front of the church on the stairs. Do you think, do you think that's a wise thing? Do you think that's fair? Do you think that's logic? Do you think that's the way we should be living? Do you think people should be subjecting themselves to this type of Violence in their neighborhood, violence when they go into the church, violence when they're trying to go home, violence when they go into the, anywhere. It's just every time you turn around, it's some act of senseless violence. So what we're trying to do here on tomorrow, come on out with us. We'll be at 4615 West Jackson at Clark Park. We'll be doing another event, number six, entitled uh, Summer Safe Light Night Campaign put down the guns for some real summer fun. And we've been doing it all summer long so far. Uh, and and this, uh, this would be a back to school jam. Young folks will be able to come out, play ball, have fun, baseball, basketball, jumping jacks, or whatever the fun that may be. The young people would be doing anything with the young people out there. So we're encouraging you, those who are watching the show right now, 
who want to be involved in some clean fun, just come on out to Clark Park at 4615 West Jackson tomorrow at 6 o'clock. And what we're going to be doing at the park is we're going to be cooking up some food and having some fun, playing music. The young folks will be able to play board games and pool and play basketball and, and enjoy some quality time in the park. But listen, let's get into something now. Let's get into the show. And I want to challenge some of you people that are watching tonight to tell me what it is that you are doing out here to make a difference in the community. You know, sometimes it's relatively hard to try to keep uh, our children on the, on, the, on the safe and narrow. Sometimes it's relatively hard to try to keep our young people's minds stayed on positive things. And sometimes it's just difficult just to keep them, period, from doing this or doing that. So what I want to ask you tonight is what can we do personally to help to rear our children so that they don't go astray. You know, I was talking about parenting before, and I was talking about is parenting important in rearing our children? So that's a question that I want to talk to. Parenting, what what does it mean to parent your children? Does it mean that you need to be a friend? Do they mean that you need to be a disciplinarian? Do it mean that you need to be overbearing? Do it? What does it mean when we're talking about parent? Do you think that our children are being parent properly these days? Because so often now, you know, we hear about the responsibilities of what's happening with the children. Who doing this? Why they doing that? And we're trying to figure out as a community, we're really trying to figure out why there's so much violence going on. Why are our children so caught up in so many different ills? And I, and I just believe in some cases that it might be a lack of parenting, a lack of discipline. Could it be that some of these young folks are just not being exposed to a better way of life? Could it be just that some of these young people just don't know? And if they don't know, they can't grow. Because young people can't be what they can't see. So I'm submitting to you that some of these young people might be just experiencing some heartache and some hardships. And they just need a little support. What you think? But anyway, let me talk to you about some things going on. Uh, this Saturday, uh, that, would, that would be the 19th. Uh, Congressman Davis would be doing his back to school parade and jam over on, um, we're going to be meeting at, on our Central and Bloomington. And we'll be marching in a parade, having fun, and we'll be convening at uh, Central and Bloomington. And we're going to be walking all the way to Columbus Park, where you engage in the Taste of Austin. Different type of resources will be out. And then the next week, I know that Alderman Jason Irvin We'll be doing his parade. They'll be meeting on Laramie. I think it's Laramie and Madison. And we'll be doing another parade that we'll be convening at Marshall High School. So there's so much going on this week. And we want to encourage you to bring your children out. So let's get back into it. The question I was inquiring about was, is how can we get more parents, how can we get more parents involved in disciplining and rearing their children? That's a question. How can we get more parents involved in disciplining and rearing their children? Just a thought. So I want you to give me your ideas on what you think. And think about it until I come back, will you? That's right. Man, hand me a hand. This is you. Let me put it in here. Put it in here. Put it in there. Yeah. Okay, so we're doing some juggling, and I'm juggling because I have a, a, a dynamic guest who just came in and said, listen, I don't want you on that show by yourself. <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> he said, I don't want you on that show by yourself. Slide on over. And listen, I'm going to present to some and introduce to others. You know none. You, you know him. You know him. Our alderman of the 28th Ward, alderman and committee man, none other than, than Jason Irvin. Our alderman. And Jason, listen, I want to thank you so much for making it out here. I knew you had some other stuff going on, but I thank you for making it. So listen, we was basically talking about, just got to, did you hear us talking about your parade? Yes. Did you hear? The parade and the uh, the parade and picnic are always going to be a great event that we've had in the 28th Ward for the last almost 30 years, over 30 years. Yeah. And it's, and, and, and it's going to be on the 26th. The 26th this year, we have uh, great entertainment, yeah. uh, everything for our seniors, our children. Mm -hmm. We'll be giving out book bags for the kids. 
just a great family event that we Absolutely. want to invite. And, and, and if you don't on. mind, I'm going I'm to read some of this. Okay, okay, no problem. From from what I'm gathering now, now you're gonna you're gonna be kind of blessed this time because now you're gonna have not not only your soul mate, but your your soul state rep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, she's uh she's joining us this year in, yeah. in a new capacity yeah. and has been working very hard in Springfield. Uh, working on this school funding measure yeah. that uh, I hope that next week we can override the governor's veto. None other so than State Rep. Melissa Kanye's Irvin. That is correct. Your wife. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay, now listen. Then, now, here's going what's going to be going on, uh, on, on, on the 26th. On the 26th, it's going to be an all-star gospel choir competition. We said that. Yes, we did. An all-star gospel choir comp composition. Joshua Troop. And then you're going to have the blues. Theo Huff, right? Theo Huff, that's right. And the new Agenda Band. New Agenda Band. And I then mean, for no some blues. of and yeah, so you're gonna give them a little taste of everything. Oh yeah, everything. And so for some of the hip hoppers, we're gonna take them on back and give them some crucial conflict. Right from back in the day. So we have something for everyone. We have something for our young people, something for our seniors, and also something for folks my age. I mean, I remember going up. And uh, meeting those guys up on Chicago Avenue, mm -hmm. and you didn't even know they were platinum recording artists at yeah, the time. Yeah, on their so, way. On their again, way. folks from the west side of Chicago, this is our Summerfest West, and, and we want to showcase uh, great people and talents from our community on the west side of Chicago. So that's what I want to do, because I really wanted to talk, I, and I was talking about it, but I want to also ask you some questions before we get too deep into it, you know, uh, talking about the event. I really want to talk about you as an alderman and, and the work that you're doing as an alderman and, and what we can do and what you can challenge us as community residents to do to love each other a little bit more. Because there seems to be a, a disdain or a dislike for each other or for trying to support each other. Why, why is that? Well, I, I think that we have to, number one, come together. I think as men in the community, men must come together. Um, you will not find another community that's going to advance without the base and support of our men. As long as once our men come together, we're not saying we're excluding anyone, but we do need men in the community to stand up and be men. They say when uh, men stand up, boys sit down. Absolutely. And what I see a lot in our community, a lot of young boys out here who don't have the guidance and have not been receiving the guidance. And part of that blame goes to us mm -hmm. as men right. that we have not cultivated and have not uh, grabbed and coached those young men into doing something more positive. And, but we all have to work together. And it starts with the men in these blocks, men on the block. You show me a block with some strong men, I'll show you a block that's clean, I'll show you a block that's functioning, I'll show you a block that's pretty much crime-free. Absolutely. And, and, you know, you, you you were saying some things when we were together on Monday at this horrific event that happened yes. over at uh, uh, Reverend Bra Bacchus, Bacchus, Bacchus Church. Bacchus Church. Yes. You know, of course, that's that's something that we don't wish upon nobody, no, at least in a church. Correct. Right? Yes, yes. However, you was talking personally about how we need to be more actively involved with each other, that we need to tap our own resources, right. and that we need to work within the confines of who we are and what we bring to the table. Right. And that it's okay for folks to help us and bring some resources, but we need to be working to help ourselves. Is that, that is fair? correct. I, I firmly believe that. We cannot expect... Folks to come from outside of our community to solve our problems. Mm -hmm. uh, we can we can help. We can ask for help with resources, but the real impetus on what's going on needs to really uh, come from us as a community, so that we're functioning on what we would like to do and not what others would like for us to do. Absolutely. Because again, everyone has their own plan, but as we as the people in our community must have our own plan for the success of our community. And there is, believe this, there is no failure if we decide what we're going to do. If we say go left and we should have went right, guess what? We went left and it's okay because we decided go as a people to go left. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and there's nothing wrong with that. Right. And I think that us having a self-determination to do some things I think is very positive and, and can restore some of the, uh, what I feel is the lost fabric of our community because we need people working together uh, in order to accomplish these goals. And I've also laid out to the church and Say, hey, the, the churches can no longer be a Sunday and Wednesday operation. Which, uh, which we is, need you know, which is people to else. come out and work. You know, and, I, and I'm glad you said that because you know, being a minister myself, you know, I, I really my heart is in the work that I do in the hood. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> you know, and yeah. it's with the, what I do to the young people. Yes, what I do for the young people, and, and I think you're so right because 
you know, how can we keep talking about we want to be Christ-like and we want to walk a certain way when we won't come out the door and help those that's out here on the street? Let's get this caller, Alderman, then we'll take it to the next level. No problem. Uh, caller, you on the air, we have Alderman Jason Irvin of the 28th Ward. Your comment or question, please. Yeah, good evening, Alderman Irvin, and good evening, Minister Walter Jones. This is Reverend Anderson calling from Baltimore, and I was listening What's to What's going on, Rev? He was saying, hey, how, how y'all doing this evening? Man, we doing it. I'm how about you? Yeah, I'm I'm doing pretty good here. It's it's kind of warm, but but we're gonna be all right. <laughs> well, I appreciate you calling. What's your question, my good brother? Yeah, I just wanted to comment on what you were saying. You know, how can we you know help our young people? And and I just wanted to add to what Alderman Irvin was saying. He's exactly right. You know what he was saying. And then also, you know, we have to keep doing what we do. You know, we can't give up on our on our young people because as we look to them, they're our future. You know, we give up on them, you know, then they're going to say, well, you know, it, somebody else gave up on us and, and we're going to, you know, we're not going to be able to do too much. So, you know, we got to hang in there. We got to work together, as Alderman Irvin said, you know, and do the best that we can, you know, because like if we if we save one young person, that person is going to go back and tell another young person. And then that's going to be like almost like a domino effect. And then. We, we, we've done something that day, you know. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. Correct. You want to say something else to it? I agree. Uh, we, we must reach out to our young people. While we may view things differently, uh, and I'm sure that mm -hmm. our elders view things different than we did. However, uh, we're, we're here and we're in that position now. We have to work with our young people just as our elders work with us. Absolutely. So let's ask this question. Thank you so much, uh, Henderson, uh, from Baltimore. Yes, sir. As one of my good brothers from Baltimore, we're doing some Chicago Baltimore collaboration. Oh, okay, all, all right. right. Baltimore, so, all right. Yes, sir. Baltimore is in the house. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, straight up. I all mean, right. My sister's out there. Yeah. So we actually actually doing we actually collaborate on some stuff in Baltimore. Okay, very well. Okay, good. So we're doing work. But let me ask this question because I was talking specifically about the plight of a lot of stuff going on with our babies. And, and, and I know sometimes folks say these kids are just this and these kids are just that. But they're just kids. Some right. Of them, but they're really just kids. And, and so how can we get to all the way? How can we get more parents involved in disciplining and rearing their children? That's a good question. Uh, I, I honestly think that um, I have a daughter. I have a... I have and a, you love it. I have a, a and you're nurturing her now. daughter that right. it, while it pains me at points to say no to her... I know that if I do not say no to her, um, then she will not get a sense of what's right and what's wrong. I think one of the biggest challenges that I've seen is that we have a lot of parents that are their children's friends mm -hmm. and not the parent. Wow. And there are times where your child is going to have to not do what they want to do and do what you tell them to do, right. even though it's you can't, quote unquote, be cool with them. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, I, I've seen, you know, parents, you know, and it's a challenge because when it's time for you to say no and you've never said no to them, it's a big deal. So how can we get them? Because, you know, we don't we want to get a call. But how can we get them not to feel like that we, we're trying to ostracize them, check them, but compliment them and try to have to empower them to be a better parent? I think that might well, be we, some of what I, I we're think missing. it's about help. And, right. and that's the key component right. is that we're not here to hurt you. Right. We're here to help you. Okay. And I think that if it comes in a spirit of love and a spirit of we're trying to help and not hurt, right. I think that people will generally be more receptive to, to that. Mm -hmm. So I, it's, I think we just have to position it in a fashion that we're just trying to help people that may not know or may not have been given the proper guidance themselves. Some, the fact of the matter is that some parents were kids mm -hmm. when they had kids. Right. So, and, and still mentally kids. And, and so we have to help them. And they, they just need help and nurturing just like anyone else does. Let's get another call for you. All right. Call, call are you on the air with our alderman and committee men, alderman Jason Everett of the 28th yes, Ward. Sir. We're talking specifically yes, about what can we do to empower each other while reducing some of this underage drinking, substance abuse, and senseless violence yes, on the west side of Chicago. And we're saying, come on out to the Summer West Fest. Summer Fest West, and come on out to some of these summer light nights that we're doing, that we're going to be doing tomorrow night at Clark Park, and we're going to be over at uh, uh, Marshall High School. We're going to be doing a parade. Parade starts on Ma at Madison and Laramie. No, Washington and Laramie. Washington and Laramie. Washington and Laramie. Well, that's where you all be. We'll be back there. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, nah, we we starting in Washington and Larry become you all be you are, we had to come around from yeah, Madison to yeah, our, yeah that's right but it's on Washington so. right at the right at the Washington at the little uh, right park at there. the little park there yeah but anyway you're coming to question sir yes great show as always two quick points first point is that you write about about the reverend and the ministers and everybody they all have a seven zero eight area code. They don't have a 773 anymore. So the people think they oh, they only come here for, just like the Reverend said, good man said, they only come here on Wednesday and Sunday or Saturday, pick up their money, and they leave back to the suburbs. Second, the people that supposed to run this aren't running it because for the last 10 years, the great people up there talking have said over and over again, what's wrong? And guess what? Ten years later, the same people are on TV talking about what they're going to do and nothing's being done. Okay, but I, I, I appreciate I appreciate your call, and I really do. But tell me what you, give me a question for the alderman tonight. Are you there? Okay, thank you again for the call, caller. Listen, again, we're talking to you. We'll be doing another Light in the Night event. All the way. We're doing some activities now uh, that we've been doing with uh, uh, the Institute for Nonviolence. Yes, yes. So we've been, we're doing one tonight also with uh, over at Clark Park. So we yeah, actually, I'm going to leave here and go over there. Absolutely. Uh, meet my wife over at Clark Park when yeah. we leave here. So Yeah, those are great ideas and great things. I think we have to find the stages and the ability to interact with one another. And those activities uh, that the community council is doing, that your organization mm -hmm. is doing, Fathers Who Care, and that we're just trying to promote people being together. Absolutely. It, I, it, there's nothing that's going to replace us as a community of, but our togetherness. Absolutely. And I think let's, these are great points to do that. Let's get you another call in. Caller, your comment or question, please. Do you think our communities are safe and why? Do you think the community, our communities are safe? I'll say this: uh, safety is a is a feeling. Um, people can feel can can live in Lincoln Park, and when you look at the statistics, they will tell you that they are not safe. But you know, there was only one uh, robbery, there was only one um, you know purse snatching, or something like that. Safety is a feeling. I have some residents that live in my community that feel safe in the community. I have some residents that do not feel safe. What I can tell you is that. Um, more people today are feel less safe than they have in the past. Okay. And that's because, I believe, of what we see every day in the media. Right. I think that if, if you look at the, I can pull out my phone right now and look at the Sun-Times, and it's going to tell us who's been shot, who's been killed. Mm -hmm. And that's all that we continue to see that comes out of our community. If we, What we need to see are these events that you're talking about, that you're doing tonight, that you're doing tomorrow, mm -hmm. talking about the positiveness of the members of the West Side that live in East and West Garfield, that live in Austin, that live in North Lawndale, so we can begin to promote positiveness in our community because not everything in our community is bad. Not everything right, in our community right. is, is not safe. But again, I know people feel less safe because that's what they've been continuously told, that you live in a bad neighborhood. So let's go back to this because we got a couple of callers and I, we may not get them all, but I want to come back and hit this Summer Fest West again. It's going to be on August the 26th. It's going to be a parade and festival, and it's going to be kicking off on Washington. Washington and Laramie, and it's going to go over to Marshall High School. And tonight, we're going to be doing some activities over at Clark Park and tomorrow. And next week, we're going to be kicking them off at Congress and... Costner. Yes, yes. We're going to be doing a big event on Congress. Congress and Costner, right, right there. We got to take. We have to go right there yeah. where the people are. Yeah, we're going so right there. That's a great thing, and I and I and I'm I'm 100 behind this effort yeah. of getting out in the community and bringing out the. You know, I saw a little petting zoo, ponies, yeah. and all type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. That we haven't seen, and we want our kids to get exposed to something besides just the corner store. So yeah. again, these are great activities, and we anticipate them to go greater and do further and better things with the help of some outside dollars, but guided by the people that live in East and West Garfield Park. Absolutely. And that's what we've been trying to do. So we've been kind of double hitting, all right? You know, one one night we had the ponies, the hot the, the jumpy house and all that other uh -huh. stuff. And then we'll come back out and hit them again, all right? Right. right. And we're just keeping the attention going, right. all right? That's, that's a great thing. Keeping the attention going, keeping and we're gonna come back and we're gonna do another event on uh, uh on, on on Van Buen and 
Springfield. Okay. All right. Well, right in the heart of it. Of it. We were right just the out there last night yeah. um, uh, with our CAPS meeting and had great response and everything. But, again, I would just uh, hope to see you all on the 26th. Um, if you need your shots for school, mm -hmm. we will have the immunization folk out there. Uh, we will have uh, all types of health activities, a bouncy house. We always have great food. We've got White Castles, McDonald's, Everything. the Jerk Taco Man, Jimmy G's. We have all types of stuff out Listen, there. Listen, that's going to be so a again, stone it's a great gas, time, baby. and we want you all to come out. You'll be getting information if you haven't gotten it already. But thank you all for supporting us and supporting what we're doing, and we're glad to be here. Listen, it's been fun. It's been a blast. We'll see you next week, same time, same station. But until then, tune in to Father Care. Log in to fathersuccare.org or tune in and contact the alderman's office, alderman of the 28th Ward. Listen, it's been fun. But the time on the wall saying that we got to go. So listen, God bless you. And forgive me to those who we didn't get on the line. We apologize. It got, got kind of... We got, got into some discussion here. <laughs> but come on out and see us tomorrow night at Clark Park or tonight. And also keep us posted. And we love you. God bless you. And we'll see you on the other side. Thank you. Good night. And we'll Thank see you. you. Good night. God Thank bless you. Thank you so much, Alderman. You've been such a pleasure. Always, 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 always great to come to Fathers Who Care. Thank you so much. see these young people working so hard. And Thank we got to keep them moving, right? Bless you. Bless you All and right. good night.